Hello guys, this is Mike from midprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm gonna it's gonna be really quick. I'm gonna talk to you about the two types of files that you're gonna mainly have to deal with. And one would be a text file and the other would be a binary file. Let me just write that out for you. Text file and then binary file. I'm using Notepad Plus Plus to make this demonstration today and I I made the letters a lot bigger so you guys can see. What a text file is, is it's pretty much binary, but each binary uh, um, bytes represent characters that make up, you know, readable words to humans, readable words or numbers or whatever you want to call it, or whatever the file consists of. And an example would be, you know, like a little file that says, hello, my name is Mike. Here are some numbers. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Those are some examples of what a text file might look like, and it's a lot easier to deal with as a human. Um, if you see a text file, uh, more than likely you're going to want to call it um, the extension .text. And the way you do that, I'll just say example example.txt. So that, that will be the, the pretty much the type of files that you want to deal with that are text files. I mean there are a bunch of other ones but that's pretty much the generic one. And a binary file is of course zeros and ones and by means two so there you go. And all those numbers uh, mean something. I'm not going to go to that in the Java tutorials if you want to talk about um, I guess basic computer systems or basic uh, computer science concepts, the binary numbers are very important, how to deal with them and how to read them, but we don't have to worry about that because Java takes care of that for us. And the, if you mess them with a binary file, this is what the extension will look like, it will be example.bin. So that's what bin files are, it means binary and txt are text files and there's obviously a lot of text files there's html is a text file technically and i guess dot doc and, but text is the, the basic easiest one to deal with and those are the ones we'll be dealing with and the class the io classes that we're going to be messing with are going to be different based on if you're dealing with text or binary and um trying to think of some stuff. Maybe like music files have to be represented only in binary because you can't really take all the data from the file and put it into readable words. It's just going to be zeros and ones, a lot of them. But that's pretty much the example of the two main files we'll be looking at. And in the next video, I'm going to start getting into how to read text files. We'll maybe write them. I don't know which order I'm going to go, but we're going to start talking about how to deal with text files and maybe what buffering is. So join me in the next tutorial. Thank you.